Brothers and sisters, in 1884, through the papal encyclical Superiore Anno, Pope Leo XIII declared the month of October as the month of the Holy Rosary. Subsequently, Pope Pius X declared the memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary every 7th of October. We are encouraged to pray the Rosary in our parishes and our homes every day. So today, let us rediscover this simple prayer, profound in meaning. First, allow me to stress that the Rosary is truly a contemplative form of prayer. Pope Paul VI likens the praying of the Rosary without contemplation to a body without a soul. He teaches us that by its nature, the Rosary calls for a quiet rhythm and a lingering pace, helping the individual to meditate on the mysteries of the Lord's life as seen through the eyes of her who was closest to the Lord. I would like to direct your attention to this important point or aspect of praying the Rosary, my dear friends. While we invoke the Blessed Mother as we pray the Hail Mary, we must remember that the prayer's ultimate subject is her Son, Jesus Christ. He is the subject of the angel's greetings. He is the subject of Elizabeth's benediction. Hence, as we contemplatively repeat the Hail Mary, Pope Paul VI tells us it becomes in itself an unceasing praise of Christ. Thus, in spite of the Marian character of the Rosary, its heart, its very core, is Jesus Christ. The Rosary is a Christocentric devotional prayer. Now, Pope John Paul II, in his apostolic letter, Rosarium Virginis Mariae, tells us that the Rosary is one of traditional paths of Christian prayer directed to contemplation of Christ's face. Praying the Rosary is a form of remembrance in the biblical sense, that is, making the salvific works of God present to us now. Every mystery reminds us of how Jesus offered and labored for our salvation. Remembering the mysteries of Christ's life, death, and resurrection is being open to the saving grace He afforded for us. As we pray a mystery, its saving power erupts before and within us. But aside from remembering Him, Praying the Rosary is also about getting to know Christ. Who among people could better teach us of Jesus than Mary? Truly, in the words of Pope John Paul II, no one among all people can introduce us to a profound knowledge and understanding of Christ's mystery better than His mother. Consequently, Praying the Rosary, my dear friends, makes us become conformed to Christ under His mother's guidance and watchful care. Does not Christian spirituality and discipleship make us become more and more like our Master? Then let us ask His mother to train us and to mold us within the same care until Christ is fully formed in us by praying with her the Rosary contemplating with her the life and mysteries of her son. From the same apostolic letter, Rosarium Virginis Mariae, Pope John Paul II taught that praying the rosary is praying to Christ in the company of Mary. The scripture clearly shows the efficacy of her word especially when he brings to her son the concerns of those who come to her. Let the miracle at Cana assure us that she is praying with and for us to Jesus, that she makes our concerns as her own and presents them to him. Lastly, as the rosary becomes a path to a deeper knowledge of Christ, it hopefully would lead us to proclaim him to others. In the history of the church, 
the ardent praying of the rosary was a weapon against the spread of heresy and for the triumph of truth. So Pope John Paul II asks us, today we are facing new challenges. Why should we not once more have recourse to the rosary with the same faith as those who have gone before us? Why not, my dear friends? The contemplation of Jesus opens our eyes to the needs of the world and impels us to mission. The rosary is indeed a contemplative missionary prayer. There you go, brothers and sisters. I invite you to pray the rosary reflectively. Do not rush through it. Rather, savor the moment you have with the Blessed Mother and with our Lord, who reveals to us His mysteries. Next Sunday, we will still discuss the rosary, but in light of our quest for peace and the value of the family.